came cho vegetarian boys and girls if you're trying to put on muscle and burn off fat at the same time today's video is for you Now India has about 500 million vegetarians and a lot of these vegetarians in the recent past have actually taken to gymming and resistance training to build lean muscle mass. Remember health comes from lean muscle mass. But unfortunately, if you're trying to build lean muscle mass on a pure vegetarian diet, it can be difficult if you don't know the science of it. Now in one of my past videos, I explained vegetarian muscle building science in detail. But in today's video, we'll just quickly go over those concepts again. Concept number 1 is that protein needs to be the focus of all your meals. Concept number 2 is that your protein should come from different vegetarian sources. You need to keep varying it up. Concept number 3 is avoid sugar at all costs and embrace complex carbs. I even advise you to minimize your fruit intake. And concept number 4 is that you need to be in a slight caloric surplus to put on any kind of lean muscle mass. So let's start with today's pure vegetarian diet. The most important thing that you guys need to know about high protein diets is that they can harm your body, but they can only harm your body if you're dehydrated. That's why the most important thing with respect to this diet is your water intake. Now, this isn't exactly my water intake for the day and I drink probably even more than this, but you need to get at least a minimum of 4 liters like I have here inside your system. But a better way to keep track of your hydration is to go by the color of your urine. As long as your urine is clear for most of the day, you're in a safe zone. So ideally, keep your urine clear and drink a lot of water. Now meal number 1 is my protein shake mixed with homemade lassi. Now lassi comes from milk and milk is a complete animal protein. In my video on vegetarian bodybuilding science, I talk about this whole concept of plant proteins being incomplete and animal proteins being complete. And that's why this homemade lassi and protein shake is the ideal protein spike you need in the morning. Mm mm mm. Meal number 2. So it's been about half an hour since my protein shake and lassi and this is where I like having my upma, my first portion of complex carbs for the day. I feel an ideal breakfast has to have some amount of complex carbs especially if you have an active lifestyle. What makes upma a superfood is that one, it's super high in protein. It's got about 12 grams per 100. and two it's available in every single house so that's why i'm just going to have a medium sized portion of upma for breakfast mm 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 okay so it's about lunch time and that means it's time for another portion of protein now i keep talking about how paneer is one of the most important protein sources if you're a vegetarian it's a complete source again from animals and it's super high in protein make sure it's a part of your lunch time almost every single day especially if you're a vegetarian lifter now with the paneer i'm going to have rotis instead of rice that's primarily because rotis again are a wheat based product and wheat means protein so whole wheat rotis and paneer is the way to go okay so it's been about an hour and a half since lunch and this is where i like having another portion of protein now if you want to build lean muscle mass the way to go is small meals where the focus is on the protein but you can have a very tiny portion of complex carbohydrates with that so this is my late lunch it's basically a generous amount of dal with just the smallest amount of brown rice with it so you're getting a bit of complex carbs to fuel your body through the day but more importantly you're getting all this dal to actually fuel your muscle recovery for the day so this nutritious yellow dal and this brown rice is my choice for a late lunch mm 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 Now the next meal is where I like starting out on my pre-workout meal plan. In my video on pre-workout nutrition, I spoke about how protein as well as carbohydrates have to be a part of your pre-workout meal plan. And as a vegetarian, again, one of your best options is the humble upma. It's got a good amount of protein as well as being a complex carbohydrate. But because it's a complex carbohydrate, you need to keep at least an hour between eating the upma and working out. So make sure you get your upma in. Okay guys, so I just got back home from the gym and this is where you start your post workout nutrition plan. So firstly protein shake again. After the gym you have to have your protein shake with water. With water it gets absorbed really fast into your blood stream and then can replenish your muscles really well. So protein shake with water is step number 1. 
the next part of your post workout nutrition plan is your fruits and your veggies now this is super crucial because in the gym you're losing a lot of minerals through your sweat so this kind of helps replenish that now ideally you should keep your veggies spread throughout the day but i don't really like veggies so i like finishing them off in one shot and as for fruits the only time you can have them is after a workout at any other time of the day fruits can make you fat so if your goal is weight loss ideally fruits shouldn't be a part of your system i've explained this science in detail in my video on fruits so make sure you check that out so after your workout fruits and veggies are the way to go Mm -mm -mm. Okay guys, so it's been about half an hour since my last meal and now it's time for even more protein. And as a vegetarian, one of the best sources of protein are kidney beans or rajma. As you can see here, just like earlier, I've taken a lot of rajma and very very little brown rice. Primarily because you want to focus on the protein. The complex carb should just be a sidekick to your protein and that's what I'm going to eat here. Mm, mm, mm. So dinner time, if you're a vegetarian lifter and if you've been following a similar diet to what I've been following, you need to cut on your carbohydrates. You definitely need some amount of complex carbs, but again, focus on the protein. And the best option for dinner in terms of protein is always paneer, whether you're a non-vegetarian lifter or a vegetarian lifter. And that's because paneer is primarily made up of casein protein, which is a slow digesting protein. So here I've just got some non-fried paneer kebabs, the recipe of which is up on my channel. Make sure you check it. So grilled proteins like this grilled paneer are the way to go when it comes to vegetarian dinners. So it's time for my final meal of the day, nuts. If you're a vegetarian lifter, nuts have to be a part of your diet. They're super high in protein, but remember they're super high in fat as well. And the thing fat does to your body is that it kind of slows down your metabolism. So late night is the perfect time to have nuts. They're giving you that little extra bit of fiber, that good amount of protein and a decent amount of good fat. The fat will slow down your metabolism. The protein will help with muscle recovery, but most importantly, nuts are super delicious. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So that was the video for today. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and remember to subscribe to Beer Biceps. So if you want gymming related advice from a scientific perspective, you should definitely go check out my gymming advice playlist given up in that card. So make sure you click on it and go through all the videos I've put up on gymming advice. Either way, until next time, if you want to follow my personal fitness journey, follow me on Instagram at Beer Biceps, on Twitter at Beer Biceps 93 and my Snapchat ID is Ranveer.1693. That's my Facebook page, so make sure you give that a like as well. So until next time guys, from Beer Biceps, see you.